Hello everybody, welcome back. We are here in my little witch hut. Which I think needs work on the roof. I've seen blocks that might work with that a little bit better, but that's not what we're going to do today. We're actually going to try to do some uh, witchery progression, which is admittedly going to be kind of hard. Um, I don't really have many areas where I could do a lot of the witch magic, uh, circle magic and such like that. They all require a radius larger than what I have, so my only real option is actually under the ground. <laughs> uh, the problem then there becomes is the uh, witchery magic derives its power from nature. So I need living things around me. But I think... Three, four... If I do... Yeah! I think we'll be able to do some neat things down here. I'm just not sure what those things are as of yet. Like, I've seen... I've seen spells that will make, like, grottos and such. But I don't know if I need to just carve out a location or if it will do it for me, but it's supposed to be a way to convert uh, underground caves and deserts into locations that can be used for witchery. So I don't know. Um, the other stuff. Oh, oh, we're gonna make an altar today. I think that's the next step from where I am. And I went and I chopped down a whole bunch of birch saplings. And apparently then forgot I needed to go get coal. <laughs> Oh, we little bit of graphical lag there every now and again. So we'll just take a, take a stack of coal there. Because we need this stuff, so if we go altar, a lot of that stuff is blood magic except for this one. So we're going to need bottles of water, rowan wood, and stone bricks along with uh, exhale the horned one and breath of the goddess. Okay, so we have a lot of exhale the horned ones, so I'm guessing we get this either from oak or spruce. Breath of the goddess, however, only comes from the birch wood, so that's why I was cooking that down. And while that works, we will go make some glasses, and I'll also show you that the under tree is still a work in progress. Let's take a look at the under tree first. Oh, also, I go slowly here, because that hatch counts as a ladder. <laughs> so I have, I believe this is a smelting. Yep, it makes glass. Uh, seared bricks, iron ingots, and the yellorium dust. Then over here I have, I believe, a... Ooh, enrichment. It takes the ore and makes it into dust as well, maybe? But I decided to go only up to tier 2 of ore processing and mechanism. And that's going to need oxygen. So that's why I got the little electro electrolytic separator here. And I've got the pipe ready to come through, along with the AE pipe already coming through up there. So that's still a work in progress. Uh, but the more advanced tiers take a significant amount of setup. Uh, most importantly, they need a salinization tower. And that is just not simply I'm w willing to invest in right now. So we're not going to do that. <laughs> Let me craft ten of those. I didn't get a chance to see if ten sand whisked away, but it should have. <laughs> yep, there we go. We got three. And three more should be down there. I, I kind of see about the recipes now. Making them so they do them in larger increments. Uh, a little bit of this delay. Not a lot, but maybe a little bit of this delay is due to... Um, do, 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 do. Sending the items there, because I think it only sends them one at a time. 
Oh, we can just use this interface here. We need bottles. Oh. And we already had some. I'm pretty sure I just need to do this recipe twice. Uh, for the altar blocks, we only need six of them. And you get two for each of the recipes. Alright, so we should have the wood in question. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're going to need two bottles of water. I believe two bottles of this. And two bottles of that. Oh, and we're going to need smooth stone, which is outside. But the question becomes is where do we put this thing? Could also use a crafting table in there. Alright. Let's see how badly I messed up the recipe. Okay, so it's double the bricks, not the what? Water bottle. Bricks. That should be all stuff that I have. Water. Goddess. And yeah, there we go. Add another water. And there we go. Book barricade from Rowan Wood. Nice. Oh, so I don't know entirely where to set this up. That is my problem. Ah. Oh, I got these guys. Oh, and I also got the Spanish moss, which is kind of growing all over. But Glintweed, it's an alternate light source. All it does is give off light. <laughs> And I have another one right over here. Outside here, I have another new plant. This is ember moss, which does that when you touch it. <laughs> oh, so... I really don't... Whoa! It snuck up here. I don't remember it getting all the way up here. I didn't sneak around this edge. There were some over here, and I harvested them. It's quite interesting, the fact that it made it all the way up here. Anyways. Whoa. We still have the issue of where do we put the altar. So it's just a... thingamabob like that. Uh, I would kind of like to make a nice little underground grotto, but I, I feel like uh, doing questing and such today, or not questing, uh, I don't suppose it's really teching either, <laughs> uh, but just making this altar and such. An altar has a range of about 4 to 16 blocks to collect power and a range of 4 to 16 blocks to distribute power. The distribution range can be extended from 28 to 32 by placing an uh, ranthi on... Arthana onto the altar. Any heart glyph, distilleries, spinning wheels, kettles, or kettles must be within range in order to draw power from the altar. Devices can only draw power from the alt single altar. It is therefore important to upgrade the altar rather than making multiples. Devices can share a single altar. Oh, and there's lots of ways to upgrade. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm starting to think... Uh, I, I really do think down below is going to be the best way to do it. But for now, just for simple, let's see how all this works. There. We now have an altar. Yay! Little cloth on top. So, uh, boosting maximum power, boosting recharge rate, and boosting power distribution. 
I think we want to do that Arantha thing, which is A R A N T H A. No. A R T H A N A. Ooh. It's a little daggery thing. Hmm. Arantha is a ritualistic knife used by witches and warlocks to collect special ingredients and perform some rites. It has the same special properties as a golden sword, damage ability, and enchantability wise. Although its durability of an iron longsword, nice, is repaired with a gold ingot. Purpose of the dagger is to collect special ingredients used in witchcraft. To this, ooh, and to this end, it will dramatically improve the chance of a mob dropping such ingredients. Oh, okay. Um, I do have things like this. Um, creeper, creeper hearts. Uh, guess I don't have the bat stuff. What else is there? I think that's all I've really seen. But anyways, let's do a R T H A. Oh, what am I missing? A gold ingot? Seriously? Mm -mm -mm. Cancel. Damn it. Sometimes I don't know where my head goes. Let's put that in there. Okay, so now we have this little daggery doodad thingy. Mm -mm -mm. Hiya! 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 Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah. Hiya, 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 hiya. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we slay a cow with it. Actually, let's slay something a little bit more productive. So I didn't see a single head from any of them. Hmm. Alright, let's try this again. We'll turn on exact copy this time, though. And then we will vacate. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Seems this sword is a little bit better for that. Let us make an iron anvil real quick. Mm -mm. Snag a gold ingot. I have a feeling it needs to be repaired. And if not, still no big loss. trees earlier. I think I have a little client desync there. Oh, almost touched that. Oh, our altar's out here. So, I don't know if that does anything. <laughs>
Oh well. Let's take a look at the other things that we can use to power up this thingy. Uh, so wither skulls. Uh, and wither skulls. And candelabras. Help with recharge rate. And, uh... And I guess maximum power rate. And we just happen to have... Quite a few of these <laughs> from exactly what you guys just saw is that thing spawns withers on exact replicas. Mm -mm -mm. Ta da! Oh, yeah, it's up to 3x. Doesn't seem like uh, multiples, though, of the same one really do much of anything. Let me... Scale 3x. Scale 3x. I guess we need diversity, which we can do. Uh, another thing we can make, according to the wiki here, is a chalice. Whoa. But... If we just go skull real quick, we'll take one of them, put those away, that away, 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 away. Good enough. So, chalice and a filled chalice. Oh, tombstone, whiff of magic, lava, and a diamond. So we do have access to a bit more lava. I don't feel so bad anymore. But if we go back to a uh, chalice. Whiff of magic. Rowan sapling will get you a whiff of magic. Oh! Dropped it down to 2x. Hmm. Interesting. I don't even know what we do with this stuff yet. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Let me see. We need Rowan saplings. Ooh. We'll take three and hope and pray. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll still let them do their thing. Let's go out to our crafting table. It was a diamond, a that, and a that. Yes, indeed. Then just a lot of gold, which we need to go back here for. So a chalice. Just says 1x base power, it might not be additive. Uh, the only reason I think it's not additive is because the skeleton skull was not additive. Okay, it still says at least 3x though. And it looks kind of cool. Maybe if we fill it. <laughs> or not. <laughs> Hold on a second. 3207. Four two seven six. Maybe that's just the recharge rate multipliers that I'm seeing. 
Let me go get a uh, skull again. Witchery is completely new to me, by the way. If you were not able to tell. But it looks fun. Actually, it looks like it would have been great on the uh, Tech Wars server. Okay, so 4288. No, that drops it back down to 3,000. Yep, yep, yep. All right, all right. Whew. Hmm. So one last thing we can try. It's a candelabra. Oop, I saw it. Oh, we need another one of those. Three torches and iron. Hello. Yes. <laughs> Once again, all this work. Not really sure why. But the end goal being we can set the biomes up on our island any way we want. Which will be pretty cool. Oops. Oh, damn it. Mm -mm -mm. Put that in there. Let's get the tank out. With the lava in it. Use a bucket on it. I think it's going to look pretty neat. X by 5. Nice. Nice. Yeah, now what do we do? <laughs> oh. Strike the killing bow on the skeleton in order to acquire a skull. Hmm. So this should extend the range. These all power it up. Cool. Let me see. Well, it mentions a kettle. Assuming that's from brewing distillery. Yeah, no. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna read up on some stuff and I will be right back. So we're back guys, and I don't have a lot of time left for this episode, so I thought we would make a set of the books, actually. That will give us a better idea of things that we can do. So if we do that... Let's get 32 of these two. Get rid of that. Right across the top. Then... I'm aiming for this. There we go. Actually, I think I should take a couple of books with me as well. Uh, look. Hmm. They are commonly called... There we go. So one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. They all need a book, so I'll need seven books. <laughs> and various other ingredients, I guess. Nope, they all need the ink and the feather. Hmm. 
Flint and steel. All right, let's just start working on these. <laughs> oh, oh. There we go. See what pieces we actually have here. Now, books, actually. I do believe I have a recipe for. Yes, I do. Apparently, crafting paper. Hmm, it should have reads in it. Or not. Where did I put them all? I thought I put them in there. Did it? wonder if something down here is messed up. No. I suppose it's possible I left them in here. Oi. No. I must have left them over in the witch hut. I hope I left them over here. Okay, that's really odd. I guess I'll just have to go harvest more. Ah, uh, good. These are all back up. That really is odd though. I had about like three and a half stacks of the reeds on me. Oh, cane. I have a ton of it. Da, 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 da. Why isn't my paper recipe working though? So it can't possibly be waiting on anything anymore. Hmm. I wonder what's wrong with my system. Okay. There we go. Put them in there. Take back in which craft. Bah. All right, there is seven feathers. Our seven books. Yonk. Seven of those. Now, if we go find the individual ingredients, charcoal, something from witchery, something from witchery, something from witchery, red and yellow flowers. So. Take a charcoal, 
take a rose. Oh, I don't have any yellow flowers. I'll have to go pick one. I'm going to assume I'm going to need a fresh one of these. So for this, bookshelf down the center there, I should have enough, oh I put my birch in the AE system. back inside of me. Alright, so let's stick the crafting table in the corner here for now. We will need oh, a couple of those actually. There we go, collecting fumes. Distilling requires breath of I don't think we have one of those handy right now. Odor of purity. What? Why doesn't... Oh, oh, the yellow flower, the yellow flower. Did I put it in the chest? No, I didn't. I had had one uh, show up a little earlier when I was working in my garden. choose you. It'd be nice to have another one just in case it is needed sometime. <laughs> Maybe it's easier to get them with uh, the watering can. You have to go away. I don't want you screwing up. Oh, okay, there's one. There we go. Whee. Up and over. Down and around. There we go. End twig. Alright, so four of the seven books, not too bad. Collecting fumes, distilling, herbology, and conjuration. So... Conjuration, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Herbology, or... Whoop. Right there. Ah, so I'll get to reading those and see more of what we can do and what we want to set up. I'll also probably start working on 
this down here. I have a lot of terraforming I actually need to get to. Uh, I've been kind of putting it off as people have mentioned that it's not their favorite thing to watch. But I need to get rid of those last couple of things that are on the surface here that are temporary buildings. Uh, that's the, the farm, the spawning area, and the smeltery. Also need to put a proper building around the uh, nether portal there. Although I might just get rid of the nether portal in all honesty. Do something else with it. Make a binding ritual or something. To teleport myself there and not use a loud noisy portal. Anywho guys, thank you for watching. I will catch you guys in the next episode where I don't know exactly what we'll be doing, but it will be something fun. <laughs> Until then, have a good one.